I also said that you can uh, calculate the KSP from molar solubility, and I know there'd be a riot if I didn't show you how to do that calculation as well. I mean, I'll leave you hanging, tell you you can do a calculation, and if we didn't do it together, whew, I'd be in trouble. I'd be in hot water. So might as well do that so that I don't have to run for my life after lecture. So let's try out example 16.9. Calculating KSP from molar solubility. So previously we calculated molar solubility from KSP. Here we're going to do uh, KSP from molar solubility. <coughs> this one we don't even have to do an ice table, which I don't know if that's going to upset you or excite you. I don't know. I can't feel the room right now. Actually, I can feel the room. It's uh, not good. All right, so first thing we have to do is think about what the KSP is. And that, of course, is going to be based off of what? My equilibrium, right? And that's my equilibrium constant. So I got to think about what my equilibrium reaction or my equilibrium system is, right? So it's the solubility of the compound. So silver 2 SO4, we're going to start out as the solid phase. is an equilibrium with silver. What's going to be the charge on that silver? Two. Plus? Plus two? Well, silver is a transition metal, so you can't just look at the periodic table and figure out its charge, right? Right? Okay, it's not like it's so group one or group two, you know. So we're gonna have to go off that sulfate, right? What's the charge on the sulfate ion? Minus. Minus. Minus two. It's two minus, right? Sulfate. So if sulfate's minus two, and there's two silvers. What does the silver have to be? Plus one, right? So sul sulfate's minus two. It takes two plus one silvers to make that compound. Okay. Good old Gen Chem 1 coming back to save the day. Oh, remember the good old days, Gen Chem 1? Yes, like it was just last week for session two. The, uh, the H2SO4, when it, that's how I try to remember it. Yeah, sulfuric acid, H2SO4, so you know there's two H pluses, so it'll be uh, SO4 2 minus. That's good. And so SO4 2 minus. Right, so that's my equilibrium system, right? What's wrong? I need to balance it. Oh, pesky balancing. Oh, yeah, I got two silvers, so I probably should have two silvers here. And then now that I've got that all straightened out and had all kinds of fun with that, I can write my KSP is equal to silver times sulfate. And I don't need silver sulfate on the bottoms, right? Square. Square? Square? Oh, yeah. The two squared. Jeez. Again. Good job. Thank you. I don't know where I'd be without you guys. Actually, I'd probably be in my office <laughs> if I wasn't here. All right, so now I got my KSP. Now I just got to think about what my concentrations are. Now it's it's uh, um, fairly straightforward. We just got to you know, of course, think about the stoichiometry. So what this is saying is the molar solubility of the compound is 1.2 times 10 to negative fifth. So this is saying that silver two sulfate, or silver one sulfate, excuse me, uh, is 1.2 times 10 to the negative fifth. But of course we know it doesn't have any of that. It's really the ions that are present at a concentration. So that's what you got to figure out. What's the concentration of the silver and what's the concentration of the sulfate? And then just plug them into the KSP. So what is my concentration of my silver? 
twice the concentration? Yeah, so for every one mole of silver sulfate that I throw in, I'm gonna get two moles of silver. So yep, twice that, good. 2.4 times 10 to the negative fifth. What's my sulfate? 1.2. It's the same because for every one mole of silver, one sulfate, I get one mole of sulfate. So it's the same concentration. So you just gotta think about the uh, stoichiometry for these different concentrations. All right, so now I'm just gonna plug those in there. So silver, 2.4 times 10 to the negative fifth squared. Don't forget those coefficients. As I almost did. Whew, that was close. 1.2 times 10 to the negative fifth. You still have to square it. So the concentrations, yep, they're going to go up and down based on the stoichiometry. And then the equilibrium constants. Also, you need to think about the stoichiometry there as well. All right, so, man, that's a bad zero. <coughs> so 2.4 times 10 to the negative fifth squared times 1.2 times 10 to the negative fifth equals... 6.9 times 10 to the negative 15. So that is the KSP for silver one sulfate.